Hey folks, this is Gaurav here and I'm going to quickly share a use case on what does it take uh, to be a site reliability engineer. And this is an actual posting that I came across on my LinkedIn profile today. It just popped it up there. So I just thought of exploring it a little bit. Uh, so many of you would already know about Atlassian. Atlassian is a very, very popular and rapidly growing software company. They have some interesting products, including Jira, Confluence. Uh, they also bought Trello, which is one of my favorite software. I still use it. Um, and then Gitstash and Bamboo, uh, which is a CI CD uh, tool and so on and so forth. Right. And uh, these products are really, really popular. A lot of enterprises use it. Now, Atlassian is also one of the a very good companies, a product company at that to work for. And a site reliability position there um, would be an elite position, I would say. So let's also, uh, let's just quickly analyze uh, what are they asking for in a SRE. So the tech stack that they mentioned here quickly, some pointers are Python Go, uh, Java Go. I would assume that you need to know how to administer, how to configure, how to install, how to optimize these applications. You don't have to necessarily write the code in Java Go and Python as a SRE. That's what I would assume. Linux and networking, I keep on emphasizing on this. System engineering and troubleshooting is implicitly needed for a DevOps engineer or a SRE. Uh, they also talk about the cloud. So having a good knowledge of these cloud platforms and some of the fundamental, tech, uh, you know, services such as networking, uh, you know, compute databases, um, storage would definitely help you here. And some automation related to that, maybe a tool like Terraform. Uh, Cassandra NoSQL, they talk about some NoSQL databases. So administering NoSQL. So how do you set up Cassandra? How does the, uh, you know, uh, Cassandra ring works? How do you form a cluster of the nodes? How do you administer it? How do you maybe replicate it? How do you define sharding and stuff like that? Right. So, uh, that's mostly the DBA part um, for a DevOps engineer's uh, point of view and then optimizing, installing, configuring stuff, right? So that comes there. Automating uh, will be something, tools like Ansible would be useful to automate setup of Cassandra. Um, DevOps, they just mentioned that is a bold point. So um, nothing more to explore there. Maybe CI, CD and stuff, uh, everything else like so automation in general. Kubernetes is, again, is become um, like a standard. So everybody's gonna need Kubernetes. So having a knowledge of Docker, when you say Kubernetes, knowledge of Docker is implicit again. So that's definitely a must. Again, scripting, even if you know one scripting language, even bash would get you through with most of the interviews, most of the positions. So scripting, cloud, fundamental system engineering, uh, a application administration, a bit of DBA containers, is going to get you through here. And not only that, they also mentioned about, and this is what sets SRE apart from DevOps positions actually, is um, the emphasis on resiliency and chaos engineering. So you need to be able to in, uh, you know, understand and architect your infrastructure for resiliency. So, you know, how do you scale up? Uh, how do you make sure that even if some of the, um, you know, some of the components of your infrastructure are down, your application doesn't go down, right? So that's what this chaos engineering, resiliency, performance engineering is all about, right? And those, that's why I say generally SRE positions are elite DevOps positions with uh, people deep, with deep experience on DevOps technologies is what I would say, right? Um, then continuous verification would, I believe would be part of their CI CD process. Observability is all about um, the three things, metrics, logs and uh, the traces so that's that comes under observability tools like prometheus elk uh, yager for trace distributed tracing and things like that right again uh, those things become important for a sre position even if not so much for a devops position as such right and uh, what is also interesting is they have mentioned about certain urls and i just went through it quickly and i found it really interesting one of the uh, this is one of the blog posts which talks about incident management again second thing that sets sre apart is sres are always on call or they've on being on call is part of their job profile incident management comes under that as well because they will essentially be managing a production infrastructure 
so uh, incident management they talk about this how do you they manage it using certain um you know the atlassian projects themselves right so um, they're promoting the pro atlassian pro products through this as well but uh, it would be good to know how incident management actually works uh, they also have uh, some uh, articles on um, this is i think their blog and uh, sre how the evolution of sre where it all began that it was at google and how it all evolved and stuff like that so that's actually a good read so i'm going to share all these urls i'll probably also share this uh, linkedin post as well so any of you have uh, have it in you i mean any of you already uh, know these things uh, you can possibly consider this position i would highly recommend atlassian as a company uh, from what i know from what i uh, from the people i've spoken and so on uh, they also have a use case about uh, how their one of their product this is their incident management project a product called as ops genie achieved 99% or five nines of uptime so 99.999% of uptime over the last 12 months interesting use case there i would say and uh, this is their ops genie project um, product i didn't know about it so i just went through it quickly so it looks like an incident management product uh, created for the Dev devops and sre uh, folks actually right so i think uh, this is quite kind of interesting and insightful to uh, know what good companies um, and the top companies of the world ask for in an sre uh, let me know if you found this video useful, this use case useful. And if you want me to uh, analyze more such positions and uh, give you some in insights into it. Uh, if you found this useful, if you want me to do more of this kind of a content, um, add your comments there. Let me know what you think about it, right? And I'll probably try to add more use cases such as this one. Well, before I go... I want to also emphasize on one more point is economic slowdown, pandemic, uh, whatever happens in the world, it does not affect every company, especially some of the best companies, some of the, uh, and you have to be right on the right side of the equation. In fact, there's a lot of demand right now since the world is moving to the digital, you know, and internet uh, based businesses. So uh, that also translates to more work for the DevOps engineer. So, you know, um, stay safe. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity out there. Um, and you are on the right side of the equation if you want to be a DevOps engineer, if you want to aspire uh, SRE. And uh, that's going to definitely probably boost your morale, I would say. Uh, so that's it, folks. Stay safe. And uh, I'll see you in another video.